Hello, welcome back to We Ride Motos. I'm Glenn. And I'm Carrie. In this episode, we leave Salerno and ultimately end up in Cortona. Yeah, we have a couple stops along the way. A couple nights. And, uh, but yeah, ultimately up to Cortona, which is a hilltop town in Tuscany. There's a voice that keeps on calling me Down the road, it's where I'll always be Every stop I make, I make a new friend can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again Maybe tomorrow I want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on First stop along the way was at a town called Casino the Casino was a big battle spot in World War II. They had, I think, four major battles there between January and April of 1944. And there was huge losses, I think like 55,000 allies, 20,000 Germans. And there's a lot of war stuff in the town, but they also have three huge cemeteries in the town. They have this amazing abbey. This oh, and the, the ride up is yeah. worth just going to the abbey. Yeah, and it, and it was really gorgeous. It was actually bombed I think by the Allies <clears throat> in the war so it was, it was pretty much destroyed. In fact the whole town was pretty much destroyed yeah, during put, the war. Leveled the whole thing. Yeah. But it was rebuilt I think in the fifties and sixties. And it is very gorgeous. Yeah. So yeah. so we spent the afternoon checking that out. And from there, you could look over the whole valley. You can see one of the war cemeteries from there. Yep. We had a pretty neat, actually the hotel wasn't too bad, but yeah. we were just in need of some supper, so we got a, I don't know, I think pizza and, place, and you and Shelly walked and, down the road yeah, to get it. It was a neat pizza place, it has a huge counter and all these different kinds of pizzas, but yeah, the pizza the was pizza not, was pretty so poor. it wasn't the best one we had. The next day, we headed up to a little town called Coretta, and it was just tiny like well it was just a layover but that old house remember that you go in that little yeah. door and the stairs oh, wind yeah. up and they're all grooved I mean this place has been around yeah forever yeah it was pretty cool definitely <clears throat> we were up on the top and at the end of a hallway and I don't know where Mike and Shelly were we yeah. didn't even know they were some other portion they of the... separated us <laughs> yeah divide and conquer <laughs> yeah it was a really neat old farmhouse was not even any restaurants in town, so... There was nothing there. Was, yeah. There was that one little grocery store. I don't think I ever saw it open. No, we looked at the hours, but it no. doesn't really mean anything because if they don't want to be open, they're not, right? Yeah. Because there was no place to eat in town. He drove us up the hill to a restaurant, maybe family or friends that he knows. and yeah. knew a guy who knew a guy. Yeah. That's we, how you make your way around It was it. actually Europe. a really nice restaurant, very fine dining and... Yep. Uh, it was really late, later than we're used to eating. It was the first time we had come across where they put the big boar leg on, yeah. the, on the brackets, which we saw that quite often in Spain, in Spain. but this was that was later, and yeah. you know, the next year, but yeah. the first time in watching the lady. Yeah, she was shaving it off very Fortunately, yeah, I don't think the boars 
It was a great meal. It was just very tasty. It was bore. And unfortunately, a combination of probably eating so late and having such a bore centric uh, yeah. <laughs> meal. I, I, I slept great. Yeah. It was awesome. I was kind of up all night. The upset tummy, yeah. But it was delicious. Yeah, it was very so. good. Um, so yeah, so then he just met us a couple hours, two or three hours yeah, later. He gave us came three hours and came back. Picked us up and. and Hauled us home. Us back, yeah. That was great. Yeah. The next day, Mike and Shelly and us were supposed to be splitting apart because they were continuing on. They had some friends coming from Calgary they're going to meet up with in Cortona, and we had a night booked in Assisi. Now, unfortunately, the weather. This was the st this was the start of the weather yeah, going downhill. There was they called for some heavy heavy rain, and we really didn't want to be traveling because the next day after Assisi we're going to go to Cortona so we decided to cancel Assisi and just go to Cortona well we visited we stopped at Assisi yeah. and just had a look around yeah we stopped there but we didn't stay no which was good because it did rain like cats and dogs but Assisi was a very nice little town um, I think there's probably a lot of money there it was very tidy and well that was well where kept. Assisi was where the Franciscan mom Same. Franciscan monks uh, St. Francis was born there and he started the Franciscan order. Yeah. yeah so, yeah, so and, and he was, he, he, he's in tune. Well, he still is a very popular yeah, figure in the, yeah, in the church. So yeah, he's in tune there. So it was a, it was a nice town. It's a money town. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was very, it was very much so. Oh yeah. I think they had, it was actually the Nazis were there during World War II and it actually survived because they had a, a war hospital there so it wasn't bombed so it was preserved it didn't get destroyed like casino did We carried on with Mike and Shelly because mm -hmm. Shelly had booked a big farmhouse that had room, lots of rooms, and their friends weren't coming for another day. So, yeah. so yeah. we just stayed there, and and then we wanted to go and get some groceries to make a meal, and so we didn't we. Is it was that a, where we hiked across it, under the highway or something well, through that there gutter? Some, there were some drainage tunnels, and it's like, well, it's a long ways to go all the way around, but if we just go through this drainage tunnel, yeah, <laughs> it'll so, be a shortcut. So we're all humped over yeah, and slogging yeah. through this drainage ditch. A uh, good thing it was that day and not the next day because oh, the I next betcha. day um, Mike and Shelly when it was raining so hard we'll show you some films of what was happening in Cortona um, it was actually full of water so yeah. So we spent the night there and then the next day we had an apartment up in the hill town of Cortona. Yeah. <laughs> so we we ride up and again these hilltop towns <laughs> are they're on a hill and, yeah. and, and so we met the the guy that owns the Airbnb out in the parking lot, and he says, "Oh yeah, just follow me into town, and I'll I'll get you there." So oh, that sounds easy enough. So we, oh, this is easy. It's all cobbles and stuff, yeah. and I'm following him in town. And then he turns and goes <laughs> up, and I mean, he went up. Yeah, it was steep. And we're going up, and, and, and the, the school kids the school have got kids, let out, yeah. and they're all you know they're wandering around, and I'm Bob, and all I'm thinking is, don't stop, don't stop, because <laughs> we'll, we're we will never get going. No. And at the right at the very top, when you come over, yeah, he stopped and, and oh. yeah, yeah. It was, so yeah, there was a place to park Pepe right outside our little apartment. It was a great little apartment. Yeah, it was right it was in the well center located. of town. Yeah. yeah, and just down a ways to the main area. And it was a good. He'd done a really nice job. That yeah, was, that was a really nice. Yeah, that we were was, there what two no, two nights? I think. Yeah, I think two nights we were there, and yeah, really just exploring. I don't know. Cortona is very famous for Francis Mays wrote a book called Under the Tuscan Sun. Was that the one where the guy was rebuilding his house? Well, they rebuilt the house. They bought this old yeah, and old all his house. adventures while oh, he rebuilt yeah. the house. Yeah. Uh, yeah, very interesting. If you thought. moving moving from the high paced North American yeah. get her done attitude yeah. to the little more laid back that's right uh, Italian attitude. Yeah. So. Uh, 
Oh, after oh, the oh the flood oh the flood yes we oh. got to talk about the flood <laughs> yeah, so, yeah i don't know if it was it the first night or the second night we were there it must have been the first it wasn't night even the night it was during the day we yeah. saw these black clouds like well and this is part of why we didn't stay in a season because yeah. we knew the weather was but yeah holy crap when this we, weather came in we saw these heavy heavy black clouds we thought oh i think i think we were up at the top yeah. but visiting this church i think we better go back and thank goodness we just barely made it in time oh, it before it rained left. and of course the water comes down these yeah. stone streets and by the time it got to us it was a it was a river <laughs> Pepe's right in it. Yeah. He's getting his tires clean. Because it was road level and it was like this deep. Yeah, it, was, it was amazing. And the kind of humorous thing that I found is right across from us is this Franciscan church, which yeah. was very beautiful. We'd been in it and it had all these art inside of. Uh, St. Francis's life and all the things that he did and the doors were open you can go in and check it out but when the rain came oh, yeah. they, they closed the doors and locked them and these all poor, the people that would have sought refuge yeah. in the local church were locked yeah, out yeah these poor people they were trying to push their stroller and they had a baby oh, and the, they were, the water's like this and they had nowhere to go they were so yeah I think they found a place because I was going to ask that they say they can come into our apartment until it uh, oh yeah that was I remember but, that yeah the yeah. doors were open all day and the rain came and yeah. boom yeah. the doors closed yeah that was the end of that the one, one main street, this is a hilltop town, and they call it the Flat Wrinkle. And it's the only, kind of the main one going through town, it's the only flat yeah. Um, yeah, I Just know, the when they say it's yeah. a hilltop town, yeah. it's gonna be... There's lots of hiking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and yeah. we hiked up way to the top. They have a basilica up there. So we hiked up to that. And I think even further up there, they had some kind of a fort at the top, although we didn't go into that one. But in the Basilica of St. Saint, Saint Marguerite thing, they have, the Catholic Church like likes the, to have- Like the relics or whatever? Yeah, they like to display bodies and yeah. stuff. They call them incorruptible, so there's bodies laying in this yeah, glass it's, coffin. It's kind of, yeah. you're not used to it, it's a little Yeah, little, little odd. And they also have, it goes back to Etruscan times, which is a very original, well, what they think is the indigenous people to this area. Yeah. And there's walls, still walls all, all of the All of the towns in this whole region. A lot of Etruscan. Yeah, yeah. any reading you do on it, the Etruscans will be yeah. featured in there. Yeah, so they actually had a bit of the old wall still, which is pretty cool. And yeah, so yeah, we just enjoyed Cortona. out it in the evening and you sit in the coffee shops and they're playing music well and everybody's walking and it's just a very nice europe in the evenings mm -hmm. is so much different than yeah anywhere it's the time to get out and just be among yeah have your afternoon nap and then save yeah. your energy and go out later yeah it's just the streets are full of every age of person yeah all the restaurants are open the stores are all open. yeah it's all lit up it's very beautiful yeah it was, it was a really nice place to visit so we leave, once we leave Cortona, we are headed up to Siena. Yeah, towards Siena. And then uh, we're going to stay in a little rural Airbnb and spend a few days touring around the countryside. Yeah, checking out the Tuscan countryside and the hilltop towns. Yep, so uh, again, uh, if, you, if you like our stuff, a like and subscribe, we always appreciate it, and uh, comments as well. And uh, we will see you in the next episode. See you then.